Hey everyone, it's Madison Jessiato. Here's the reality of what we're seeing right now. President Donald Trump has a lot of support and his base is energized as a result of the impeachment hearings and the Russian inclusion hoax and so much else. When they look at what's gone on, I know myself and so many others I talk to across this country, feel that there's been an unfair attack on our president. The numbers when it comes to fundraising have been incredible as a result of this and people have really gotten behind the president. All we really need to do, of course, is look at the rallies. We look at the recent rallies and we're you know, still so many months out from November 2020 and the election and people are waiting hours, they're waiting days sometimes to come to these rallies and thousands of people are outside watching them on big screens, braving the cold to do so, to show their support for this president. And of course, the support is coming from promises made, promises kept. This is a president who made promises on the campaign trail back in 2015 and 2016, promises that many people weren't sure if he would keep. Well, he kept them and he overperformed on many of them. We look at the economic numbers, which I've talked about here with you guys before. We look at the courts and the two originalist justices that he put on the bench, as well as the unprecedented rate uh, of fulfillment when it comes to nominating judges for the district courts and the court of appeals and immigration and the list goes on and on. So the president's delivered on these promises and the Democrats know that. And the reality of what they're facing right now is that they have candidates, pretty much every single one of their candidates right now on the ballot for the Democratic primary are Democratic socialists or they're promoting Democratic socialist policies, socialist policies that would never work here in the United States that are unaffordable, that wouldn't benefit the lives of the American people. And when you're up against a president who has an incredible economy that is directly impacted in a positive way, the pockets and the wallets of the American people, it's going to be difficult. So we could potentially see this brokered convention happen. Biden and Sanders, they might be out too. Could they put in Hillary Clinton or somebody we're not even thinking about right now? That's a very real reality and that's something we need to continue to watch out for as we head through these primaries and we head towards the summer to the conventions because this could be their only shot at putting up someone who could compete against President Trump. I still think President Trump's going to win this, but we need to watch out for that.